One particular day, he heard Edwin calling him, Yo, my man. Dasinga, someone's out there for you. It was decay. Dasinga shook his head, How did you find me? They both said simultaneously, Ron. It had been a few months since they had seen each other, and she was attending a new church and was happy, learning a lot of stuff that Dasinga had taught her, but there was something about what she was telling him about the church that made Dasinga have a feeling of uneasiness. They were together for a while and rekindled a lot of the old feelings they had for one another. They started making love, but Dasinga felt there was something about it, that she felt it wasn't right, she started crying, and Dasinga quickly stopped, I never want you to feel this way again, however long it takes, I will wait. Decay had lost her job and her apartment and the only thing that came to mind was him talking about Sabayoff. She eventually moved in with Dasinga and she started telling his roommates at the bed and breakfast about the church, Edwin enjoyed listening to her because she was bubbling but insisted that he worshipped. His ancestors and Christ was nothing more than a myth to him, like Zeus. Dasinga and a few more saw the disappointment in her eye and everyone else went to church with her that Sunday. He seen the zeal and started thinking about how everything was perfect for them and just wanted it to be the way things were before. They would sit up late talking about old times, and he wrote, on Stone Road. I met a princess that became my queen, to those who's listening understand what I mean. Together, it seems like it was forever. But it only lasted a few years. Sharing laughter, happiness, and tears. Everything was at first, like peaches and cream. But that is how it all starts, if you know what I mean. The love we shared was what I've always looked for. When she was depressed, I was there to relieve some of the stress. Cheered her up, with the words of God. Those words would go so far. When I was down, she would be there acting like a clown. Laughter from me, would be so loud, would somehow gather a crowd. Then one day, we had a big fight. Over something so pity. Now, there was someone else cheering her up, with the words of God calling me the devil. Evil and mean. She became traditional in my eyes, something I can't stand to see. I lost my prize, my princess, my queen. Five years have passed, yet in still. When I dream, I see her smile, her laughter, her beautiful eyes. Wishing I never lost her. Having space for her, still in my heart. Being the first, to pull me apart from myself, from my fantasy made me feel reality. I do know that she loved me, knowing that she did care. In my heart, I still hold, the laughter, the cries. The dreams we shared, it was a heavy load, when I lost my queen. On Stone Road. Dasinga went to the church, looking around he was puzzled because it was at a local five-star hotel in downtown Atlanta, they don't have a building? Decay smiled, no. Dasinga smiled, interesting, no overhead and the words that the preacher said were not alarming to him. Still, the subject matter wasn't anything complicated, for he was talking about loving one another. But after the services, Dasinga asks, it's time to go, right? Decay said. No. We have to get into our groups. The men's groups over there. Dasinga said, the men's group? Decay spoke to one of the gentlemen passing by. Excuse me, he's new here. Can you take him where he needs to be, the young man said. Sure, follow me. They entered a room down the hall. There were men of all ages, and they sat down and started introducing themselves. It was Dasinga's turn, and, he stood up, Hi, my name is Dasinga, and I'm here because my girlfriend just started going to this church, and I just wanted to check it out and he took a seat. A man stood up, Hi, I'm Richard. Do you want to be saved? Dasinga replied, I already have a personal relationship with my creator. Thank you for asking. The man said, Having a personal relationship with your creator is not enough. Dasinga had a look on his face, Excuse me? I beg the differ. 